All right, how's it going? Let's start the day with the weigh in. <laughs> oh, let's try that again. I was not, not expecting that. <laughs> I got some work to do. 28.1. That's not good. That's not good. So, um, no wonder I'm starting to feel these kind of health side effects, you know, the extra weight gain. Um, it's just ballooned up. I, I actually, I don't know what it is, uh, I don't know what happened, um, the, the, I've, I've updated my graph, you can have a look, it's not meant to go up, <laughs> so um, anyway, <clears throat> so what I've uh, planned on, last night I went for a nice wee drive uh, after work, um, and I thought about What's going wrong? Why am I gaining? And, and let's just be serious, let's be frank here. It's definitely the booze, of course it's the booze, but it's also the fast food as well. Um, although it's hot and convenient, and um, I wouldn't say it was cheap actually, it's not cheap, it's not a cheap way of doing things, but it, it's hot and it's there and I can keep working, I can eat it and keep working. So um, it's just, you know, what I've been used to, uh, with this new job, you know, plus with extra money, I don't really think about uh, the cost of the food that I'm buying. I just buy what I like, you know, whatever's convenient. So, um, yes, some of this weight gain was muscle. You know, I'm quite pleased with that. But, <laughs> but, it's a lot of fat, a lot of fat. So, um, I didn't booze last night. I don't intend on boozing until Cyberfest, which is on Friday. Uh, I've mentioned Cyberfest a couple of times before, it's like an online beer festival. That's a weekend thing, it's Friday, Saturday, sometimes knocks over onto Sunday if there's any beers we can't finish. So the Monday after, um, I've got a, a plan that I want to put into place. It uh, basically goes like this. So I get up 9am. Uh, train till half 10. I'm going to do 20 minutes of cardio um, or more and then whatever time's left I'm going to do some weights. So cardio comes first and also counts as a warm-up. Um, I'm going to go to work for the lunchtime rush uh, till about 3, 4 then have a, a workout on the cross trainer which I like doing because it's low impact. I'll go for a wee sauna steamed jacuzzi and a wee float about in the pool. So, uh, diet wise um, what I plan starting like maybe not the first week but the second week after Cyberfest is um, a water fast. Now <clears throat> I mentioned this before, it takes a lot of gearing up to do because you're, you're thinking about it, you've got to get yourself mentally prepared, you have to have your water, you have to have everything in place and you have to remember that you're on a water plan because when you start it and you just slip into your old routines. Ah, oh, you know, driving down the road, just go KFC, buy some food. Oh, wait, a bottle of this food, and I'm supposed to be on a water fast. And then it knocks on, like, oh, well, what's the point doing it today? I may as well do it tomorrow. Oh, I forgot again. And then you totally forget you're supposed to be on a water fast at all. So it's helpful to um, put in place things to remind you that you're on a water fast. Now, um, it has multitude of health benefits being on a water fast. Um, there are different stages, different you know intensities of water fast. Um, uh, well, first of all, let's start off with intermittent fasting. So intermittent fasting is when you push your eating window to as late as possible in the day. So you start your first meal, um, say for instance, you usually have your breakfast at 10 o'clock or whenever, then you push it back to 11, 12, you know, and then further on into the day. So you actually skip breakfast and then you're maybe moving into lunchtime. You push that time down through the day 
until maybe you have your first meal about three o'clock or maybe four o'clock and then you skip lunch and then you just wait till dinner time and then you have your dinner time around about six o'clock um, because that's roughly the optimal time for your body to absorb nutrients and calories because if you think of the hunter-gatherers um, they would go out uh, hunt all day for their meal which is you know going to be meat or whatever they could find and gather up and then take it back they have to clean it and cook it and then eat it and usually by that time it's about eight o'clock so we've kind of evolved uh, to be you know uh, absorb nutrients at that time be super hungry around about tea time um so that's what i want to do that's intermittent fasting um water fasting which is the next stage is trying to go um a day maybe two maybe three days on just water nothing's supposed to pass your lips with calories in it um and you're basically super hydrating the body flushing the system um and you're basically burning off you're running off of fat so it's easier to do this after an intermittent fasting session or a ketogenic diet because your body's already keto adapted which is burning fat so if you're fasted, what does your body burn? If there's no calories, there's no food being consumed, well, um, it's going to burn ketones, which is the breakdown of uh, fat, triglycerides. Um, it also produces growth hormone, which is a muscle preservative hormone. So it's not going to, you're not going to eat away muscle by not eating. So you're going to get rid of all the, the dead cells, all the toxins that are built up in the body and um, you're going to cleanse your liver, cleanse your kidneys, cleanse your insides completely and um, it's great even if you, if you feel the, the benefits after maybe maybe a three day, four day fast and um, you do feel phenomenal. So when I do that I'll be reporting how I feel, keep you updated and then if you fancy joining along make sure you see a doctor first if you're not sure if you're able to do it or not you know physically. Um, and then there is, um, so that's a, that's a water fast. There's a prolonged water fast where you basically just do that for a longer period of time. Um, which, uh, you know, if you've, you know, blood pressure and all that, and you're not taking any particular medication that has to be taken with food, then, um, you know, maybe see your doctor first. Don't take my advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing and explaining my understanding of what it is. Um, then there's the, the next level, which you can only do for a very short time, is called a dry fast, okay? So there's a soft dry fast and there's a hard dry fast. Okay, so soft dry fast is you can have a shower and brush your teeth um, and wash your hands so long as you don't drink water, all right? So I know it sounds a bit crazy, but uh, the longer you don't drink the water, the, the better it is for your body to actually produce its own water. So it actually accelerates fat loss exponentially. So you take a, a cell and basically your body's craving water. So it actually takes a fat cell, sucks the water out of it and burns the fat and hydrates the body. I tell you, the body is amazing. Now a hard dry fast, okay? I'm, ne I'm never gonna do this. I'm calling it now. I'm never gonna do this is no shower, no brushing your teeth, no washing your hands, no getting caught in the rain. You've just got to be stinking for the for like the duration of your, your hard dry fast. Yeah, I hope that uh, gives you a little insight into uh, dry fasting, water fasting, intermittent fasting. The, the first week after uh, Cyberfest, I'm going to be doing intermittent fasting. And then the week after that, I'll be doing like water fasting. And we'll try and keep that going for a prolonged water fast. So let's turbocharge this weight loss. I can still make it. I can still... No, I can't. <laughs> Was it 11, 12 stone in three months? I don't think so. I don't think so. But anyway, I'm going to try. So I want to crack on with a wee cardio workout. I want to crack on with some weights. And then I'm going to go back down to Bannatine's have a wee cross trainer session, a wee puddle about in the swimming pool, and then I'm gonna to head to work. In the meantime, enjoy my caffeine-free coffee. <sighs> and crack on, so right, see you next So let me get y'all caught up in the workout so far. Um, I did uh, half hour aerobics, uh, which was pretty good, enjoyed that. In fact, 
I'll be honest, I would do the bare minimum through it. I did not want to do it, but I, yeah, I pushed through and I finished it. I got a slight sweat on, but I think I'm still feeling tired from yesterday's half hour on the cross trainer, but you know. Anyway, so I decided I'm doing some bench and hit some chest. <clears throat> I did three to four sets um, of 12 repetitions with 60, and then I went up to 70, did two sets of 10, 80, two sets of 10, 90, uh, two sets of 10, and I did 100 for one set of 10. This is 110 kilos. Um, I've got the 20, the 15, and 10. So, uh, in total, good in the bar, 110 kilos. So, as you can hear, this bench is kind of old, kind of squeaky, has a couple of bolts that's holding the, the bench up. It's, it's, it's been fine, it's never given me any problems ever. But with my body weight and this weight on the bar, all on the top end of this bench, if it's catastrophic failure, at least I've got it in camera and I'm going to be safe because I've got the power cage here. So the worst that's going to happen is I'm just going to slide down, land on the floor. So, thought I'd move that in case uh, my head landed on the, uh, the seat door handle. Anyway, wish me luck. Let's see what happens. Um, my goal would be anything more than four reps would be good. So, let's see what happens. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Gotta do it now, the camera's watching. Okay, bench, don't give up. I am, uh, I'm pleased with that. I did my cardio first. Like I said, I would prioritize the cardio. Uh, 110 kilos. That's the most I've benched in a long, long time. So, I think I'm gonna strip the bar uh, before doing anything silly like going heavier to maybe 120. No, no. No, no idea. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna do some incline chest press and then I'm gonna get showered and head down to Ballantines for a cross trainer and then uh, a wee bit of swimming action and then uh, head to work. All right, guess what? Hey, how's it going? So today it was actually pretty good. Um, I got up and I trained um, cardio first, which is a total drag. Uh, I did no energy, my legs felt like lead weights and probably after that half hour cross, tra cross trainer session the other day uh, I did bench press, pressed over 110 kilos, I was oh, mega chuffed so uh, pleased with that and uh, I think there's still more in the tank you know, I could have maybe went for the 120 but uh, we'll save that for another day, maybe next week um, and then I was intending on going down the road and going to Barrentines but I decided I would swing past the folks, see how they're doing first, and have a cup of tea. Um, actually, it was a coffee, and the coffee was didn't agree with me. So I, I know for sure I cannot have caffeine. Um, I've steered clear of energy drinks and pre-workout for weeks now, so I obviously can't have caffeine anymore. Um, so that's why the, the workout's been a bit of a drag, but I've still been doing them. Um, I sat down and I did not feel like getting back up. <laughs> I was like, whoa, I'm out for the count. So I lay down on the couch for about an hour, uh, got up, had something to eat, and uh, went to work. The work wise was excellent. It was a bit of a grind, but I met my target. Um, so that was good. So exercise wise, good. Um, work wise, good. Staying off the booze, good. No more, no booze tonight. Um, diet wise, Kind of good, but kind of a lot. 
let me explain. This morning, or well, last night, I bought some food. I only went in to get milk. And you know what it's like? You go in to get milk and you come out buying 10 other things. So I bought four, four protein bars, four low carb protein bars, which I've still got, all four of them. Uh, and I bought some um, pork scratching straws, they're called. They were just sticks that were pork scratchings. And then I had pepper sweet cheese, which is basically a little pepper stuff with cheese and it was an oil, and it was very, very nice. And um, uh, some kind of. Um, uh, chorizo, some kind of um, ham wrapped oat round cheese uh, so I had that so uh, this morning I had the pepper sweet cheese and I had the the, the the cheese and ham and then I had my workout then I went to work no no I, was, I went down the road to my parents and I had the leftover cauliflower cheese so I ate that and then before I went to work I had a Burger King and I swapped the fries for onion rings, but I gave the onion rings away. I had the burger, the Diet Coke, and the, which is my only fizzy drink I've had today, was the Diet Coke. So I'm cutting that down. So that's another good thing on my on my side. And I had the bacon double cheeseburger. Oh, it was fine. Uh, it was really good. And I obviously ate the bun, but only 20 grams, so that's okay. Then the next thing I ate uh, was a few hours later, I had um, cheesy bites. Uh, from McDonald's and they come in like different portion sizes so the, the individual size was five uh, so I had five cheesy bites in a, a bag so I ate them with a medium milkshake so that's the worst thing I've had today was my medium milkshake um, and the bun so relatively low carb but a lot of food and it doesn't stop there uh, about 10 o'clock I went to my parents and I had um, Salisbury steaks and that was with a thick, uh, I had two Salisbury steaks and that came with like a creamy mushroom and onion sauce. And it was really nice, really, really nice. So anyway, five meals I had today, that's terrible. And I'm talking about fasting, what the heck? It's so weird, like my brain is like, it's like, you more you want, it's like you're in a situation where you say, don't say this, don't say this, don't say this. And it's the first thing you say, it's like my brain's like, don't do this, don't do this. Even though I'm think, even though I'm subconsciously thinking, cut back in food. All I can think about is food, and I just eat more of it. So I don't know what the heck is going on. Anyway, you know, maybe I'm sub subconsciously rebelling against my plans to fast. I don't know what the deal is, but anyway, that is my plan. I want to fast tomorrow. I am going to cut back the food. I will not eat anything before three p.m. So I'm going to be fasted before three. Uh, and that's if I choose to have something to eat then before I go to work, then that's fine. But I'm not having anything other than a protein shake after a heavyweight session. Oh yeah, that's another thing I had today was a protein shake. Two scoops, two scoops. So anyway, um, apart from that, another night off the booze, which is a big bonus. And I did my cardio, my weight. So very pleased with myself um, and I will catch you tomorrow.